Once a person comes to the great Buddhist Bodhidharma and says, Mahatman, I want to know about those five qualities which can make any person extremely successful, by adopting which any person can live a successful and happy life. First of all, Bodhidharma looked at the face of that person and said, Every person is successful not only because he wishes for it, but also because he earns it. Every person wishes for success, but he gets what he deserves. The person said, But Mahatman, I feel very bad about failure. When I am successful, I feel very sad and pain. And Bodhidharma said, First of all, you should understand that in yogic culture, there is nothing like success and failure. For a person who sees this life as a big ladder towards a great possibility, there is no failure. The person who makes the ordinary events in life his goal, is only successful or unsuccessful. If a person sees this life as a big ladder towards a great possibility, then if something good happens to him, he uses it for his own good. And if something bad happens to him, he also uses it for his own good. Look, when the time is good and all the circumstances are favorable, then even a fool can be happy and calm. But when the circumstances are completely against us and disappointment is felt from all sides, then even in such a situation, to be happy and calm, it is necessary to be something different inside us. If a king has a ten times larger army than the enemy, then even a weak and cowardly king can win that war. But if the situation is exactly the opposite, then to win that war, a wonderful courage and plan will be needed. So, the meaning of saying is that there will be adverse situations in our life, now either we can use them to make ourselves stronger and better, or we can sit and cry. The choice is completely in our hands. And this rule applies to everything. Bodhidharma said, pointing to the person, suppose a very terrible incident happened in your life, but you can also use it for your development and happiness. If you can see clearly that all these small incidents of your life are just a step to reach that great possibility, then you have the choice. The only important thing is that whatever you do, the goal is only one, to reach that great possibility. And if you have decided it, then every incident of your life will be beneficial for you. Success is beneficial, failure is actually more beneficial. So, stop being afraid of failure. Failure is a fear in itself. Being afraid makes it more terrible. The person said, Great, I understood your first point that I should not be afraid of failure, but should learn. But can you tell me something about time control? I have no control over time. I waste most of my time in useless work. How can I control my time? Bodhidharma said, what we call life is actually a special equation of time and energy. But unfortunately, most people never learn to handle this equation of time and energy properly. We first try to understand the nature of time. The nature of time is such that it works even if we do something, and it continues even if we do nothing. We do not need to push it. But without mastering time, no person can ensure his goal. So the question is, how to control time? Bodhidharma looked into the eyes of the person and said, you talked about time control. Have you ever controlled time? The person said, no, but I have tried. Bodhidharma said, and you cannot control it. You can do whatever you want, but you cannot turn back time. It is just moving forward. So you cannot control time. You can only control yourself. It will keep running. You do something or not. So there is only one way to control time. To master the way of working of your own energy. If you follow the walk of a camel, you can walk very little. But if you follow the walk of a cheetah, you can do a lot of distance in the same time. If you can do the work of a person who does it in 10 years in a year, then if you both live for 100 years, then you will live for 1000 years in the matter of impact and depth of experience. And this is the only way by which you can control time. So in simple words, the one who has mastered himself, he has mastered time. And the one who has mastered time, this life becomes a suite of compassion for him. The person asked the next question to Bodhidharma, how can we give our best in any work? Bodhidharma asked the person, do you think that your life is precious? The person said, yes, my life is precious. Bodhidharma said, if you think your life is precious, then you should worry about where you are putting your precious life. You should not do any work just because other people are doing the same. When you put your precious life, time and energy in any work, then you should only do what is really important for you and what you enjoy doing. It does not matter if any work is beneficial or not. If your heart is not in that work, then you will never be able to give your best. To give your best in any work, you need to love that work. 
and until you give your best in any work, you can never do the work that will liberate you from the mantra. And great things will never happen to you. No matter what work you do in the world, if you are not fully dedicated to that work, then you will never be able to do any important work. It is possible that you earn your livelihood from that work, but you will not be able to leave any imprint or any effect behind you. Bodhidharma said, you must have heard about the great warrior of Mahabharata, Arjuna. That person knew nothing but to shoot an arrow at his target. His entire dedication was only to shoot an arrow at his target. And he used to shoot the arrow at his target in such a way that no one else could do it. And he became the greatest archer of his time. So, the meaning of saying is that if you want to give your best in any work, then your love and dedication to that work is very important. And whenever you choose a goal in your life, ask yourself this question, can you do that work for a lifetime? Does that work really matter to you? And after many years, when you look back, will you be able to feel the pride and happiness that you have done? If the answer is yes, then you should do that work. The person asked the next question, I have heard people saying since childhood that do hard work. Hard work makes you successful. Can hard work really make every person successful? The scholar said that hard work alone does not make anything in the world. And it is a very unfortunate thing that since childhood, people around him and his parents start telling him to do any work with hard work. Study with hard work, do everything with hard work. And then that child tries to do hard work in every work. If we do everything with hard work, then we will not succeed. It will just remain as a donkey's life. Instead of saying do everything with hard work, we should say that study with happiness, work with love. If you have to put hard work in any work, then you should leave that work. If we can do that work with love, then we should do that work. Every person thinks that all works can be done with hard work. But the truth is that not everything can be achieved with hard work. We have to do the right things, at the right time and in the right way with hard work. Then the matter will be made. The people who have been successful, they did not succeed only because of their hard work. But they knew in a way that what is the right thing to do in their work. Otherwise, so many people would have been unsuccessful in their own field. While many of them would have been more hardworking than that successful person. But they were unsuccessful because they did not do the work properly. So, nothing will happen by doing hard work. It is more important to do the work properly. The person said, Mahatman, I just want to ask you. I want to ask one last question to you. What should we do to live life in the right way? Buddha said, if you want to do something well, then you need to know it well. Like if you want to run a horse, then you should know about horse riding well. This is the same thing applies to our life. If we want to run this life well, then it is necessary to know about the nature of life. For example, if you just want to run a horse, then your knowledge about horse riding is enough. But if a horse rider is taking the horse to war, then it is necessary to know everything about the horse riding and the nature of the horse. Like if you want to live this life in a certain way, then you don't have to do much. But if you want to live this life with full existence and awareness, then it is very important for you to understand this life and yourself deeply. If you are very restless and full of nonsense, then the reason is that you have not learned to control yourself and your mind properly. If you don't know how to keep your mind on the right level of alertness, balance and enthusiasm, then you will only succeed by chance. And even if you succeed by chance, you will still suffer this success. You will not be able to enjoy it. So if you want to live this life in the right way, then take your time to know your body and mind deeply. By saying this, Bodhidharma became focused and that person leaves from there by thanking him.